Hi, I'm Mimi Tarash, the Director of the Women in Recovery Program at Family and Children's Services. You might be hearing about women in recovery for the first time, but I know that you are well aware that Oklahoma has the highest rate of incarceration of women in the United States, incarcerating at twice the national average. For many, their involvement with the criminal justice system began long before their participation in women in recovery. And for most, their pathway to incarceration began when they were children. But instead of prison, select women, nonviolent offenders with drug and alcohol addictions are given the opportunity to participate in an alternative to incarceration program. For over a year, women work on improving their mental health status by reducing and addressing their trauma symptoms, substance use, they increase their employment skills, which results in job stability and they are successfully reunifying with their children and families and stopping this cycle of intergenerational incarceration that destroys families and devastates children. Women in Recovery is a program for women who want to become positive, contributing members of our community and who believe in the power of change to lead law-abiding lives. Women in Recovery has shown our graduates that a new and a different life awaits each of them. And I extend my incredible heartfelt thanks to our Women's Leadership Council, the pioneering mentors who beautifully stepped up to support the challenging transition from an intensive treatment program into the community. Women integrating to the community face significant barriers. And not even one year later, mentees are reporting on very tangible outcomes from assistance with small business development to knowledge of resources in the community. They're budgeting, they're discussing networking, they're talking about employment dilemmas and childcare challenges. Discussions are happening around retirement and 401 plans, and they are being encouraged for continuing education. I've always wondered what that was like, and, and having a mentor I thought would be beneficial for me to kind of help me guide me through uh, the careers that I, I'm trying to get to. I'm trying to you know, get my degree, and um, I've always wanted to become an interpreter since I was a little girl. Um, and not knowing that I would get an actual interpreter as a mentor was almost like a god thing to me. I was just like, that screams to me that that's that's what's supposed to happen. My parents are both hearing impaired, um, so I it was my first language learning to sign. I remember just growing up and always having to interpret for my mom, always, um, anywhere we were, and being this high. Growing up, always interpreting for my mom, wherever we were. So when my mom asked me, what do you want to do when you grow up? I was like, well, I want to be an interpreter. I'm already good at it. And people like me are very jealous of people like Crystal <laughs> because she did grow up with the language and I did not. I came to Tulsa University and happened to room in the dorm with somebody who was an interpreter. All my sweet mates were taking sign and I had to find out what the heck they were talking about. <laughs> So promptly signed up for the class, fell in love with the language, ended up majoring in deaf education. And I work currently for TSHA, Total Source for Hearing Loss and Access, which is the United Way nonprofit that serves deaf and hard of hearing people. So there I would see people getting their certification as interpreters and once again I was like, I guess I should do that too. So I have been a certified interpreter for many, many years now. And she has been helping me a lot with that, answering lots of questions and, and kind of giving me a broad idea of, of what is expected when I do become a certified interpreter. The mentors have been someone that the graduates have looked up to, someone who can be trusted, someone who genuinely has their best interests in mind. And we all need a lifeline at times. But this is a partnership and there is equal gain for the mentors. I so hope that you will seek out one of our superhero mentors today to learn how the experience has impacted their life and provided them the opportunity to make a difference. The Women's Leadership Council Mentor Mentee Program is just one of many ways that you can support your community. And I am very pleased to report that our need is growing as every year we have more women in recovery graduates who would welcome your support, your encouragement your interest and commitment to strengthening the life of a woman who has shown resilience, courage, motivation, and has demonstrated, clearly demonstrated, that alternatives to incarceration can achieve far better results than imprisonment. Thank you, Tulsa Area United Way, 
And thank you Women's Leadership Council for helping these women in recovery become women of our community.